Доброго ранку, шановні українці. Зараз Good morning, dear Ukrainians. It is now 9 a.m. March 9, 2022. Хочу повідомити наступне. Пів на шосту ранку. I would like to inform you the following. At half past five in the morning, we received a notification from the Russian Federation about the coordination of the routes we had previously proposed in the directions that I will now list, as well as notification of the International Committee of the Red Cross about sending a letter addressed to them with such an agreement. We sent our letter to the International Committee of the Red Cross. At 9 o'clock in the morning, our Prime Minister Denis Megal is having a conversation with the head of the International Committee of the Red Cross, Peter Mauer, on the subject of such an agreement. Військові погоджуються припинити вогонь з 9 годин до 21 години поточного дня. The military agrees to cease fire today from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Consequently, humanitarian corridors are opening in the following areas. A ceasefire will be introduced on the following routes from 9 a.m. today. Місто Енергодар, Запоріжжя. Місто Суми, в напрямку міста Полтава. The city of Enerhodar, Zaporizhia, the city of Sumy in the direction of the city of Poltava, from the city of Mariupol, Donetsk region, in the direction of Zaporizhia, from Molnovakha, Donetsk region, in the direction of the city of Pokrovsk, from the city of Izum, Kharkiv region, to Lozova, Kharkiv region, also Kiev region, from the cities of Warsaw, Bucha, Borodyanka, Irpin, Kostomol, Kiev region, to the city of Kiev, through Stoyanka, Belogorodka, Kiev. Я звертаюсь до Російської Федерації. I'm addressing the Russian Federation. You have made official public commitments to a ceasefire at 9 a.m. on March 9, 2022. We have a negative experience when the commitments were made, but they did not work. Коли навіть взяті на себе зобов'язання не спрацьовували. Це напрямок Маріуполь, Запоріжжя, а також Волноваха, Покровськ. This direction is Mariupol, Zaporizhia, as well as Volnovakha, Pokrovsk. Residents of Volnovakha turned to me and asked me that today the promise of the Russian Federation should be fulfilled and people could leave their homes, where they are now hiding from fire, multiple rocket launchers grad that are killing them with crushing fire. Separately, I would like to discuss the city of Warsaw. Окремо хочу зупинитися на місті Ворзелі. Там є будинок Малятка, де зараз, станом на зараз, знаходиться 55 діток і 26 осіб персоналу. There is a foster care facility where now, as of today, there are 55 children and 26 staff members. This is a separate special operation that will be carried out to evacuate this orphanage. Дотриматися взятих на себе зобов'язань і припинити вогонь. We urge the armed forces of the Russian Federation to adhere to their obligations and cease fire from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. as we agreed. Detali budu povidomlate. All other details will be reported. Trust only official sources provided by our authorities. Glory to Ukraine. We are moving, we are working, we are headed for the victory.